Hi ladies, I'm here today with a quick video. Um, I just stopped by the thrift store to get some clothes for my baby clothes sales and I found something really cute. I'm looking at my, sorry, it's saying my battery's low. Anyway, let me finish this video before my battery goes out. Um, yes, I was saying that I found this really sweet vintage doll um, that I wanted to show y'all and it is not a reborn. But she's really cute, so I just had to get her today. And I did clean her up a little bit. She was a little bit dusty in her face. So we're going to start. And she is entirely handmade, the doll and her clothes, as you see here. Here's her feet, her legs. And her legs are cloth. And as you can see, she has pantaloons under here. She has pantaloons on. You can see the lace. And then she has these socks with um, bows. Uh, let's see if they've been tied. Yeah, I kind of like the bows have been tied. These are her legs and feet. And I'll show you her dress. And I am going to um, take their clothes off of her and kind of clean her clothes up a little bit. See, this is her pretty, um, like a christening dress that she has on. It has all the lace on the bottom. And then the silk bow, that, or not bow, a silk ribbon that goes across the whole bottom. And she's newborn size. So now we're going to move up to her hands, her arms, and she is, um, like I said, her, the baby self is handmade and her, um, entire outfit is handmade. Here's her hand. She's got little tiny hands. She just has porcelain hands and then she has the cloth body and cloth legs and feet. So here's a little hands. She's very pale because she's porcelain. And I'm thinking about going back in and, you know, maybe doing her nails a little bit pink, slightly pink, and adding some more color to her. But she's really cute and she's kind of pouty, which y'all know I like the pouty baby. So here we go. Let's show the bottom. There's a bottom of her face. Well, I'll just go ahead and show you. She's peeking out at you. So there she is. And she's a pretty big curl. She's newborn size. And her eyes are pretty blue, but they're not showing up. Then they look like they almost look black on the um, screen, but they are not black. They're like a dark medium blue. So there she is, and she has her lips pursed, like. And I love her little bonnet here. She has a really puffy bonnet there with the lace. My, my husband, of course, is calling right now because I'm making a video. He always does, so... I'm going to decline him. He's probably going to get mad. Think, what? Are you mad at me? But anyway, I want to finish this video. So there she is. She's got like a peach color on her cheeks and lips. But um, I'm probably going to go over that and do more pink, a more pink color there on her lips and, and um, cheeks. But she's pursing her lips and she is bald. She's got a nice size head. And you can see her bonnet is pretty intricate. And in the back, I'll show you the back of her bonnet. See the back? It's all, um, uh, like a button and it's gathered there. They did a really good job making her clothes, too. So there's her bonnet. And I'm not going to take her hat off because she just got a bald head. So there's nothing special about that. But she's got a good size head. She is newborn size. And now she's going to look all weird. And I haven't thought of a name. So if I have any name suggestions, y'all can tell me. And see the smocking? I guess that's what it's called on the front. See the smocking all on the front of her dress? Really detailed and pretty. And now she has very tiny little flowers. I don't know if you can see that above my finger now. Tiny, tiny flowers are so tiny. I didn't even notice them at first. That was all white. But there she is. Pretty little girl. Little newborn size. Um, well, partial porcelain and cloth girl. And if y'all can think of any name suggestions, please let me know. She's real cute, and I love her little expression on her face. Like I said, she's like pursed in her lips, and she has really chubby cheeks. So I'm probably going to do just a little bit of repaint on her. Not repaint. I'm not going to take any paint off. I'm just going to paint over her existing paint. Um, so a little bit more pinkish. But I just want to show you today, and my, of course my battery is getting low. <laughs> Whenever I make a video, it seems like something happens. So I just wanted to show you her, and... If you give me some name suggestions, I would appreciate some name suggestions. She reminds me of like a little baby off of um, Little House on the Prairie. 
the way her bonnet is and her dress. So just let me know what you think. If y'all would like to um, suggest names, I would appreciate that because I don't really have a name for it yet. But like I said, she still reminds me of Little House on the Prairie. Um, the way her clothes are and stuff. So I thought she was cute and that was my find today at the um, thrift store. So I snatched her up because it's, usually you don't find um, vintage dolls this big and newborn size. Usually they're much smaller than this. So just want to show you her, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, another thing is, I had remember I had mentioned last time I had to get it, I think I did, on the video, I had to get a brand new washer because my other one died. Well, guess what? Right after my washer was delivered, the day it was delivered, um, my dryer broke. So I was like, really? So the good news is I'm getting a, a new dryer um, Sunday. They'll be delivering it. So I... Just want to let y'all know that it's been stressful. You don't know how that goes. It's like all appliances are breaking down right now and they're expensive. So anyway, just want to show you this cutie and show you my find today at the thrift store. I hope you're having a great day. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you and I will be back soon with some more babies and some more videos. Talk to you soon.